Relax, Alex. Nobody's following us. Are you sure? Just keep your eyes on the road, yeah? What's that sound? I'm not sure. Shall I pull over? No! No! We can't afford to stop yet, but we're still a good few miles away. Let's just get there, yeah? Fuck! What? We're not gonna make it. What? Interesting diversion, Alex. What's going on? Fuel. What? We're out of fuel. I've got a torch it. And then what? We stand by a flaming car in the middle of an open fucking field. Great idea. It'll take them years to find us. So what? We just wait here and greet them with open arms. I've worked too hard to lose the contents of this car. Just listen to yourself. This car means nothing. Nothing when it's a choice between that and prison. Just give me a minute. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, that's been a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the plan. Okay, I'll see you then. Right, we stay. I've called a friend, he'll be here within the hour. What friend? Doesn't matter. I want to know which one of your friends I'm required to trust. Connor. Connor? God, Marcus, you might as well have called the police yourself. Look, running away is not an option. My prints are all over this car. He doesn't know about you or the situation. You'll be fine. So what do we do about the boot? I can't believe I agree to this. Alex, will you just relax? Don't tell me to relax. You know, it pisses me off. Look, I know you're scared. But come too on. right, I'm scared. I'm stuck here in the middle of nowhere with a car full of shit that will send me away until I'm an old man. And to top it off, I'm stuck here with my criminal brother. You can stop bringing up my past for a start. Yeah? What part? The drugs? The crime? This? Or are you being stupid enough to get caught? You think I wanted to go down? I don't know. But the last thing Mum needs right now is for you to go down again and for me to come with you. We're not going anywhere. Yeah, that's what you said last time. Right before you abandoned us, I never abandoned you, okay? Don't you fucking say that. It was hard for me too. It's not about you, Marcus. It's about us. It's about me and mum. I've been the one looking after her. Without a dad. Without my big brother. I've been the one clearing up the blood she coughs up. Instead of trying to climb the food chain. She should have been helping us. You're right. You're absolutely right, brother. I should have been. But I wasn't. I was doing time for some petty crime. Missing out on a relationship with my own brother and my mother. And I can't change it, that's done, that's the... That's the fact. I can't change it. But I can change the future and what we do going forward. You know I would do anything to see mum smile again, anything. And that's why we've done what we've done. That's what got us into all this god awful mess. I'm going to change that. Do you remember that Christmas? It's been what? Five years ago now? Six. I remember crying when the ambulance showed up. 
she's done well to raise us in the condition she's in. She deserves a lot better in the time she's got left. That's why we've done it, right? Truth is, Alex, I've lost track of what's important. Steen and Dear Lynn. That's not the son she raised me to be. The only person I've been there for is myself. You're right. Your priorities haven't always been in the right place, but you kept us in our home. You kept a roof over our heads. When you're inside, as much as I hated you, you should never let me forget that. Are those for us? What do we do? Yeah, run. What? I, I can't leave you. I've got a record. When they see me here with all this, they won't come looking for you. What about Mum? The plan doesn't change. I just won't be there to see it through. Look at her heart. And it breaks mine. Please, just do your best not to let her hate me. Nice. I won't let you down. <laughs> Come on. Contact you in a couple of weeks, yeah? Come on. Come on. Oh, my train. 